Hey guys, Theater Junkie Ginger here. I'm back from Salt Lake Comic Con. I had a fantastic time. It was absolutely crazy and um, the lines were horrendous at times, but I really did enjoy myself and I really enjoyed meeting so many of you and talking to you and it is, it kind of blows my mind how much, how far the internet reaches and it's a pretty remarkable thing how much we all kind of touch each other's lives and so I'd like to thank you guys for the support you've shown me and I hope I can show that to you guys as well. Um, so I'm here to kind of hop on my soapbox a little bit, which is a rare occurrence. You will not see it very much with me, um, as far as the videos are concerned because I don't like contention and I don't like negativity and it's one of the last things I want, but I feel like this needs more attention even though it's probably gotten a lot already. And so what we're talking today is about fake nerd girls. Uh, personally, I don't think they exist. Not like R.O.U.S.'s where they actually do exist and they bite Wesley in the shoulder. No, we're talking. I don't think they exist. Um, so I got accused for the first time I got accused, or one of the first times I got accused of being a fake nerd girl several times at this convention. I mean, it wasn't a small number. It was many people that approached me and said some pretty judgmental comments and were kind of butt-facey about it. Um, so I wanted to kind of talk about this and what I think about this and actually tell the stories because really that's what we're here for is stories. Um, so the funny thing is that this actually happened um, in sci-fi speed dating. A lot of it anyway. I got it otherwise, but really I got hit up like crazy in sci-fi speed dating and accused of being fake. Which is really hysterical because those who did it wanted my number after. I guess that kind of shows how sad it really is that they would be this mean to you and still think that you would want them. Um, so basically, I don't think there's such thing as a fake nerd girl. I think we are all varying degrees of nerdy and really, who cares? Um, and I, I guess that's my main thing about it is who cares exactly just how nerdy you are. So one of the um, things I ran into is because I was dressed as Mara Jade, who is a extended universe character for Star Wars, um, it's a little bit more obscure than just watching the movies. And so I got grilled out of my mind by, <laughs> by guys who are like quizzing me on characters and their backgrounds and all this. And then if I didn't know one fact, then it was all of a sudden, oh, then you're not really a fan, are you? What? <laughs> and I, I mean, I got, I got put through all of the typical things where it's like, oh, so did your brother get you into this? Did you have a boyfriend that got you into Star Wars? Did you, I, I got that. And I also got the, oh, you're a cosplayer. So, <laughs> which I, I also didn't realize that apparently a lot of people don't consider cosplayers real nerds, but okay. Um, which really, you know, I, I laughed it off more than anything because it is ridiculous. I know myself and I've, I find it quite funny that somebody questions me being a nerd because I've been considered a nerd my whole life and really I'm okay with that. I've come to accept that about myself and I've been much happier since then. Um, so I just wanted, it's, why does it really matter? Why? You identify with certain people. Why is that not okay? And why is it not okay for girls to like the same thing you do? I mean, don't, don't you, 
don't, don't you like girls to like the same things you do, or wouldn't you want that? I guess that's a logical thing to me. <laughs> but, um, anyway. And, for the record, it, nobody determines who you are but yourself. So, be confident in who you are and know who you are. And don't let, just like when you're dealing with the rest of the world, don't let their opinions influence your opinion of yourself. I guess that's my main advice for dealing with this crap like this. Because, I mean, I'm okay. I'm just blown over by the fact that it even happens. I've heard about it for so long and um, I've never really seen it firsthand. And boy, I got my healthy dose of it this weekend. Um, so basically go out, spread a little love around and be kind to people. Even if you have different opinions of other people, don't, don't, don't be butt faces because nobody wants a butt for faith. Um, uh, and I just, again, wanted to thank you guys so much for your support. I love you all, truly. I'm sorry if I didn't show it as much. If you talked to me this weekend, I've, I'm just dead. And I've now got a case of the con cough because I, I think my immunities were awake there and I was not feeling so great at the convention. But if you came, shush, I'm busy. Sorry, my phone's calling me. Um, but I was pretty dead this weekend. Um, so if you came up and talked to me and I didn't show my enthusiasm as much as I probably should have, thank you so much. I appreciate it so much. I appreciate your compliments and really you all looked amazing. I, I just have to put that out there right now. There are some pretty phenomenal artists out there and I love your work. Anyway, until the next video, um, I love you all, elephant shoes, and we'll see you soon.